Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Prune channel. Today, we will discuss the secrets of undersea fiber optic cables, how the internet travels across oceans. Undersea fiber optic cables are the backbone of the global internet, transmitting the vast majority of the world's digital communications across the ocean floors. These cables are a critical component of modern society, enabling communication between continents, businesses, and individuals. Currently, it's estimated that there are more than 420 underwater fiber optic cables installed worldwide, with a total length of 1.3 million kilometers. The exact number is difficult to determine, because new cables are being laid and the older ones are being retired, but this is roughly the number of cables that are in active use. Today, we will discuss the secrets of undersea fiber optic cables, including how they work, their history, and the challenges faced in their deployment and maintenance. Undersea fiber optic cables are made up of thin strands of glass or plastic, each no thicker than a human hair. These strands are surrounded by protective materials, including a steel cable, insulation, and a waterproof coating, to protect against the harsh conditions of the ocean floor. When a signal is transmitted over a fiber optic cable, it's converted into light and travels at a speed of 299,792 km per second. The signal is unaffected by interference from other signals, and makes fiber optic cables ideal for high-speed long-distance communications. To transmit data over long distances, several fiber optic cables are combined into a single cable system. The individual strands are then connected to repeaters, which regenerate the light signals and boost their strength to ensure that the data can travel thousands of kilometers without losing its integrity. The first undersea fiber optic cable was laid in the late 1800s, connecting telegraph stations in Europe and North America. However, at the end of the 20th century fiber optic cables began to be used widely for communications. The first transatlantic fiber optic cable was deployed in 1988, providing a fast and reliable connection between the United States and Europe. Since then, the number of undersea fiber optic cables has rapidly increased. Thousands of miles of cable now connecting continents and countries around the world. In addition to improving the speed and reliability of communication, the deployment of undersea fiber optic cables has also made it possible to connect remote areas that previously did not have internet access. While undersea fiber optic cables are a vital component of the global internet, deploying and maintaining them is a challenging and complex task. The harsh conditions of the ocean floor, including extreme pressure, corrosive saltwater, and submarine earthquake, can cause damage to the cables and affect their performance. Another challenge is the cost and difficulty of laying the cables. The process requires specialized ships and equipment to lay the cable on the ocean floor, which can be a slow and expensive process. In addition, the cable must be placed in a straight line and at a specific depth, making it vulnerable to damage from fishing gear, shipping traffic, and other underwater obstacles. Once the cable is deployed, it must be regularly monitored and maintained to ensure its continued operation. This includes checking for physical damage, and upgrading the repeaters to keep pace with the growing demand for bandwidth. So far, there is no technology that has completely replaced underwater fiber optic cables for transmitting large amounts of data over long distances. Underwater fiber optic cables are still the most reliable and cost-effective solution for transmitting large amounts of data across the world's oceans. 